Russia has been rebuffed by the West. I mean, Vladimir Putin, this is not, I'm not flacking for Putin. I'm an American. I'm not going to live in Russia. I don't love Vladimir Putin. I'm, I'm stating the facts. At, he asked Bill Clinton to join NATO. He yes. tried to make a missile deal. He mentioned with, this in the interview. He did. Yes. That's yes. correct. Yes. And he's mentioned it in other forums as well. And NATO said, no, we don't want you. Now, if the point of NATO, not if, the point of NATO originally, of course, the post-war goal of NATO was to keep the Russians, the Soviets, from coming into Western Europe. It was a bulwark against the Russians. So if the Russians asked you to join the alliance, that would suggest you have solved the problem and you can move on to do something constructive with your life. Russia is not for everyone, okay? If this was a game, it would be played on expert mode only. This is not for beginners. Russia, do not come if you're not ready to deal with the elements, to deal with political change in the world, and if you're not ready to change yourself, this is not the place for you. And by the way, when I'm saying don't come if you're not used to playing on expert level, I'm talking about to come to live, okay? If you're gonna come to visit, this place is completely awesome for tourism, if you wanna experience a beautiful country filled with a lot of culture. But if you're planning to come to live, just remember that the majority of Russia is Siberia, where I live. And if you uh, are not used to dealing with uh, political stuff, because in 2024, everything's political. If you go out and eat a uh, chocolate ice cream, somebody could turn it on you and make it into something that it's not. I don't know. But you just have to remember that life changes so often now. So much so that, you know, something could be said in the United States and it compromises your life here in Russia. So I don't want to hear anymore. Oh, don't talk about political things. Don't mention political things. Well, guess what? Those things directly affect me because I'm an American living in Russia. And sometimes it's good to talk about it because it ends up helping other people so they understand the situation here. Um, a lot of people in recent uh, time have decided to come test the waters to come live in Russia. I, I guess I would fall into that boat where there's a new generation of foreigners coming and settling here. I'm talking to you right now from a plot that I own with my fiance Xenia, who I'm going to marry in August. Okay, and I'm here trying to make my life. I'll show you a little bit about the plot, but I do make videos about how I go on and fix this place and the plans and all of that. But today I wanted to talk about how I'm tired of people saying, don't talk political things. And even on YouTube, if you say some things, uh, you can get canceled and all these uh, negative things can happen to you. But it's not my doing, okay? When my president is off doing things like this. I've said before, Russia will not prevail in this war. Ukraine will prevail in this war. And we'll stand with them every single step of the way. That's what the compact says loudly and clearly. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. Put yourself in the shoes that I'm in right now, but erase Russia. Say you moved to, I don't know, a peaceful country like, um, Let's say Costa Rica, okay? That place has no military, has nothing to do in world politics. It's an insignificant little Central American country. And I say insignificant because in the world stage of politics, they have nothing, right? But imagine you move there and something crazy goes on. Maybe a, a guy who's high blows up uh, uh, an embassy there. And now Costa Rica is shunned from the world. Okay, that's going to directly affect you and the world just turned political around you. Even if you go to Mars and somebody tries to colonize it, what I'm trying to explain to you guys is that you could be born in the wrong place at the wrong time, live in the wrong place at the wrong time, and your home country, which mine is America, the United States of America, is notorious for having global problems. And as we make these videos, like other Americans make these videos, uh, it's not so much that it's political when we show you Russia, when we show you how we're living here, how, when we give you our opinions of what life is like, when we give you opinions of what our pol politicians do in America. It's, we're doing this not because we're trying to be political, we're trying to do it because, hey, by the way, it can affect you if you planned to come to Russia. It could affect you if you planned to go to another country. 
Um, and everybody knows that because of America, it's like a domino effect. It'll be most of Europe and the rest of the world. Uh, Russia has been sanctioned by so many countries and, and it's all because the domino effect. So it can encompass Europe. A lot of Europeans want to come to Russia. That can affect their life. A lot of South Americans want to visit Russia. That can affect their lives. You have to remember that Russia is part of BRICS. And I think it's Brazil, uh, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. So that's South America. That's Asia. That's Africa. That's Europe. Uh, and I say Europe because of... Um, because of Russia and uh, yeah India is part of China but it has its own sphere of influence that's a huge amount of human beings those are the originals they are already taking in new members so it's all these other countries that want to visit Russia but those countries also are pressured by the West so that it's just a disaster for you if your country ends up taking uh, different stances against Russia you know what I'm saying Please let me know if you understand what I'm saying. Comment below what your opinion is on this topic. We have to talk about the situations or else nobody knows what's happening. My perspective as an American is a little bit even more unique because I'm a, an American veteran. And it puts me in a very complicated situation where I tell people all the time who ask me, can I visit Russia? I say, listen, I'm a veteran of war. I should be looked at by the Russians as a high value target, perhaps. Uh, you know, their stories, oh, they, they took this guy and they jailed him. They haven't done that to me. So if Americans say, don't go to Russia like this guy. U.S. citizens should not travel to Russia for any reason. It's dangerous. You risk um, being detained. You risk uh, uh, other threats to your health and well-being. And so um, for any American citizen anywhere in the world, whether they are here in the United States or whether they're in some other country, if you are considering going to Russia, don't do it. Just could not be less complicated. Then obviously there's going to be a huge amount of people who are going to be scared to visit this country. There's going to be a lot of misinformation. And so what I'm trying to explain to you, I guess, in the end is that I do make videos that talk like this. I've made a video that says, do not come to Russia. Uh, I think it's a, it's like a common sense video. You should watch it. A lot of people enjoyed it. And I want to know more of your guys' opinion. Uh, what do you guys think about the, the world today? Uh, what do you think about people who come out here to live and it's basically risking their, their livelihood. I don't even know if I could go back to America and be well received. I don't know if I could uh, be considered a just, just, I don't know. I don't know what you would call me if I went back to America and my country decided, hey, you've done bad. You decided to live in a country we don't like. I'm, I mean, I never saw this when America was at war with Iraq and Afghanistan, nobody even saw us in a bad light. That's what blows my mind. Uh, and I'm talking about like the West. There was no country saying, hey, you guys have been bombing these guys for 20 years. You're a bad person. You know, that's crazy to me. I don't like the hypocrisy in that. Um, yeah, so I'll show you my plot a little bit and I'll give you my final thoughts. This is my land from one corner to the other. There was a building there that I broke down. It's gone. I'm going to build a house here. And this is just a shack for my tools. And those are my potato plants. Uh, well, our potato plants with my fiance Xenia. And uh, in the future, if you want to see building stuff, you can already check out the videos are already up. I started the video off by saying, you know, Russia is not for everyone. And I'm going to stand by that because it, it's a very stressful place, not because of Russia only, because, you know, being in Russia is a little bit stressful, but it's not only because of that. You have to deal with your own country. You have to deal with the politics and it's always going to be that way. So stop saying, leave the politics out of it because that's just how the world is in 2024. Subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Thanks for tuning in. What you reporting for? I just see you know, a bikini and inside a gas station. That's why I'm just wondering yeah, why. This is the blade. We sell an ass over here, so you can put your camera there. Okay. I ain't got no shame on my game. You're being fun. So fun. I'll break your phone.
I dare you to run in those heels. I'd love to see you. Oh, shoot. <laughs>